I'm Shari from Little Blue Deer Design and today I'm going to show you how to set up a campaign in MailChimp that sends out your blog post by email. So the first thing that you need to do is to start your MailChimp account. So you can just go to MailChimp.com and you can sign up for free. This is free up to a certain point and it's a lot of subscribers in your list, maybe 40,000, so you should be fine with a free account. Uh, I've already set, my, set up my account, so I'm not going to go through walking through how to set up an account, but it'll ask you for your information, your contact email. It does require a physical address um, for the anti-spam laws. So I'm going to assume that you've gone ahead and signed up and after you've signed up, you'll be able to log into MailChimp and you'll be brought to your dashboard. Now, I've already set up a campaign, so I'm going to walk through setting up another one just to show you really quickly how to do this. It's very easy. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to Campaigns and Create Campaign. I've already got mine, but I'll create a new one. Now, here's the key. There are lots of different campaigns in MailChimp for the purpose of this tutorial you're going to want to search RSS. So just search RSS and enter and select share blog updates. The next thing that you're going to do is name your campaign and you can name it something like blog posts by Little Blue Deer by your company name and I'm just going to put test for the purpose of this because I'm going to delete this. Click begin. Now, for the RSS feed URL, all you need to do is type in your domain name. You don't need to know the feed URL. You can just enter the domain information and then you can click and choose when you want to send out the campaign. So I live on the East Coast. I think people will be getting up about 6 a.m. So I'm going to choose every day at 6 a.m. You can also select the days that you want your campaign to go out. Note, if you do not make a blog post, your blog post will not be delivered. It's not going to deliver empty content. So I have mine set to go out every day at 6 a.m. If I don't create a blog post and post it on my WordPress blog, no campaign will be delivered. Definitely check resize RSS feed images to fit template. This is going to make sure that even if your images are larger than the email body, um, that you're, they'll fit within the email and they won't, they won't be too large to, uh, they won't fill up the screen so the user won't have to scroll back and forth. And then you're going to go down in the lower right corner and click next. And I'll show you also how to set up a list. Uh, you should already have a list um, set up for this campaign, and I'm going to assume that you do, so you can use the entire list. Uh, you can also have a seg saved or pre-built segment or a group or new segment. I am not a MailChimp expert, so for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to choose the entire list, Little Blue Deer Latest. Here you can enter your campaign name. You can also enter the email subject. There's a default email subject that will be posts from your RSS feed title, which will be your website name for date. Uh, I don't really like this. I like to put something a little more exciting. So I'm going to put in the latest from Little Blue Deer, exclamation point. From name, choose something that your subscribers will instantly recognize, like your company name or if it's a personal blog, your own name, and then put the from email address. You can track opens, track clicks. Um, you can also choose um, Salesforce, Google Analytics, all of these things. Once again, I'm not a MailChimp expert, so I'm only going to go with the defaults here and track the opens, clicks, and plain text clicks, which are required by MailChimp then click next. Now, for the layout, for the purpose of this tutorial, this is the one that I like to use for sending out blog posts. You're going to pick the one column simple layout here. Okay, 
Now comes the fun part. This is the designing of your email. So we're going to start at the top. There's a little area that says use this area to offer a short preview of your email's content. So I'm just going to write the latest in fashion, interiors, and design from Little Blue Deer. You can name it whatever you want. Um, the next key is most people want to put some sort of header um, in their image, in their blog uh, email. So here you can upload an image and you can browse from your files. If you have um, any files stored in MailChimp, I do have one, so I'm going to go ahead and click insert. Um, you can see this image is so big it may obliterate inboxes. Images should be about 600 pics to 800 pics wide. Let's fix it. So we can click on let's fix it and go to resize and I'm going to put in 600 pics and it automatically proportions to 223 pixels in height. Just click apply and save. And there we go. Now my image, I have my nice image here. Um, the body of the email, this is another key where people get really hung up with RSS. So I'm going to save and close. I'm going to remo remove this whole default text block that's here by just clicking on the trash can. Now, for the content, what you want to add to send out blog posts by email is the RSS items. So you're going to drag it into the content area. Now, the next thing that you're going to do, and this is going to ensure that your full blog post, not just the excerpts, shows up in the body of the email, is click on the arrow next to excerpts to expand, and you're going to choose full content. This is going to show your blog post title, every photo that's in your blog post, and all of the text and just click save and close. And then down at the bottom, there's some social media. You can definitely add in your Twitter username, Facebook. You can add another service so that users can click directly onto your social media sites um, if they want to after they've finished reading your content. Save and close. Now, click back on the content block. I'm sorry, don't do that. Click on the design link. And this is going to help you with styling the page. So we've right now got the background that's this light gray color. Um, I'd like to have mine just white, which I think works better. You can add uh, a border if you want, an email border. The headings, you can choose the font style, um, the font size, and the font weight. I'm going to leave everything the default right now. Um, but definitely feel free to play around with this. If you like design, you can have a good time changing some of your fonts and, and changing the way that, uh, that this looks. Um, the pre-header area, same thing. You can change it to white. I like to have everything white. And save. Once again, I'm not going to show you exactly how to style out the email. You can play around with all of this. Um, we've got the header style. We've got the header text. Now... What you're probably going to want to do is change the link color because nobody necessarily likes the default blue. So you can choose, I'm going to make our links pink, which is going to look a lot better. Um, so I chose pink. If you have a specific hex color, you can enter the hex color in the box or you can use the color picker. Um, you can go to a brighter pink and save. And the same for the body. You can change the background, the border, the body text, uh, the size and the font, and once again on the body link we have this ugly blue. So I'm going to go back to pink and you'll see when I change that that all of my, uh, my headers in the content block are pink. So there we go. And that's really it. Um, and you can see now you've got your intro line, you've got your header image, and you've got all of this weird looking content here. So you're probably thinking, I've done this wrong, it isn't set up right, uh, it doesn't make sense. Not a problem. Um, if you go to Preview and Test and click Enter Preview Mode, there we go. 
This is my latest blog post. And you can see it shows all of the images. And because I chose to fit the images within the size of the uh, RSS template, then they all fit neatly into the body of the email. Um, we've got my content. And then down at the bottom, we've got a link to read in the browser, tweet or like, and then the social media links down here. So I know it looks confusing when you're looking at it in the editor, but when you click the preview, you can see how great it looks and how great it's going to look in people's inboxes. And then you're just going to go to next. And you can see we've got our RSS feed set up. It's going to deliver to the Little Blue Deer latest list. The subject line is the latest from Little Blue Deer. The replies are going to go to my email. I've got all of the tracking selected. I've chosen not to enable social cards. Like I said, I do not do a lot with MailChimp. This is a very simple setting up your blog post tutorial. And when you're ready, all you have to do is click Start RSS. This is just a test campaign, so I'm not going to start it, but that's where you'll go, and that's all you have to do. Now you'll see that your uh, RSS, which means your blog, blog post campaign is set up and ready to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions, then please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you.